hello hello again and uh, welcome back to my little repair channel uh, in this case I will continue with the uh, cleaning the lens elements in the uh, old Minolta MC Rocco dash PF 1.458 millimeter so let's see how it can be done I mean it, it goes pretty good with the focus it's absolutely perfect and the aperture is working I mean well except the little steel ball in here but it doesn't matter I mean it can be used for video or something but also good for taking photos with my camera now uh, the lens elements looks pretty what do you say not clear but let's have a look how it looks with a torch through the lens. Wow. It looks like some <laughs> really, really dusty <clears throat> environment. Some fragments and uh, I mean, it looks like there may be some kind of fungus or not fungus, but haze or something, especially on the, on the inside of the front lens group of course I have been taking a look inside how it actually looks and uh, therefore I know how it's put together you see the lenses are arranged I make some drawing of it so here is how it looks inside when seeing the lens like this so there is a back lens, a uh, <coughs> cemented lens group, uh, which is put together by two elements, cemented. There is a uh, three lens element in the front lens group, and uh, some spaces between the there is one spacer between the, um, the front lens. There is a spacer between the next lens and the, the back lens of the front lens group is uh, put in via a... a, a oh, <laughs> said, hold in place by a retaining ring. So it's the same on the front. And of course here on the back and the inside of the back lens group. <clears throat> so let's take a look inside. Action. Now, <clears throat> actually, as you see, maybe you saw in the other movies um, of this particular lens, um, we have to take off the nameplate, which I will do with my lens spinner adjustable old um, compass which I have filed and grind so it's pretty easy to take off and that comes off so <clears throat> there are two small notches uh, here and there that we need to put uh, to attach the uh, lens spinner on and then take it out the whole front lens group it's not that hard <clears throat> even if it can sit tight I mean it doesn't do that in uh, my lens because I've been into it so um, and that will just pop out here so it is and then of course I will take the back lens group so put it to near to infinity so it will be easier to attach and of course it's a bit smaller than the front 
so we need to adjust the the tool so this is something like there have a good grip on it and then can sit tight and uh, then uh, can be a little pain but <clears throat> of course I have some tools for doing that uh, will not fit there so it's a rubber tool which is very handy when cleaning lenses but it's also very useful for taking unscrew the uh, some lens group or retaining rings or so but they <clears throat> since I do not have a clean room I need to um, clean the <laughs> my tools here and then with that I will use a lint cleaner which is very handy for taking out <clears throat> of uh, very small hairs that sometimes can be on that kind of tool very annoying but so it is so um, and when it's free is just pop out put the body aside and now I'll begin with the front lens group which seems to be yeah there are some specks in here and uh, Let's see how it can be done. Okay, I will put on gloves because I need that to burgen with lens elements. So here we are, ready to. <clears throat> exploring how it is inside, how it will turn out to be. Now, the uh, front lens is holding in place by one retaining ring here. And uh, again, we could use the lens spinner. Or, of course, I can also do other tools. I can do so, or I can just use my rubber tools here, which actually fit perfect. And again, in some lenses, I mean, uh, there could be some, as I can see, there has been some lens, uh, I mean, thread lock on here to uh, keep the retaining ring in place but uh, I mean to me it doesn't matter but but uh, if if there was and if the retaining will, ring was really very hard to unscrew one could use some nail polish remover and just dip on with a cotton butt but it's not a problem in this case so, on with a rubber tool. <clears throat> and it will come off easy. No problem. <clears throat> One thing, if you just turn it over, two lenses will fall out. Or, I mean, could fall out. So, I will just uh, use another tool, which is this lens sucker very very handy when working with the lens elements you just push it and then put it on the front lens or back lens or whatever and then suck it out very easy now do <coughs> use a small torch to see what's actually going inside. So this is the back of the lens that has some uh, thing on the surface. 
and let's see how it can be taken away. But uh, there are two surfaces, so I'll begin with the um, with the most uh, the outer lens surface, and for that I will use some pick pad for doing the actual cleaning and of course it needs some uh, liquid stuff and it is I will try with the Eclipse it works very good sometimes but uh, also use um, Zippo lighter fluid so we begin with the <coughs> with the uh, Eclipse him and see how it goes. Just add on and then do some and out. Now, <clears throat> there seems to be some. Here, maybe it's, it's just yeah. <clears throat> you see, the uh, eclipse cannot take everything away, so I will give it a go with the uh, lighter fluid. It stinks a bit, but is really really handy, especially on the edge of the. Uh, of the lens. So how does it look? Wow! <laughs> much better! Much better! So I will go for the inside of the lens and I think I <clears throat> will just continue with the lighter fluid because it's so much better. Hey, there's still something, but let's see how it can be if I just take in my hand. I mean, the surface is very hot coating, so there will be no damage. Nah, it's actually scratches here. Well, so there's nothing really I can do about that. Except I will just uh, clean it as much as I can. And that's the only thing I can do. So. And that's actually all for now on this lens. <clears throat> now <clears throat> put it aside somewhere. You can just put it with the front down to the to the rubber table here. Now continue with the next lens element. Let's see how it is. Uh, yeah, there are some specs there. Hmm. <clears throat> there is a uh, spacer here. As you can see, just lift it out. Remember how it is facing. I mean, it can only sit in one way. So I will also take that out, but it can be a little, little prop problem because it fits so tight in the um, <coughs> in the re in the tube here so uh, let's see if I can just turn it over 
and let it jump into my hand and there it is so this is how it looks that's only one back element so this is the um, the inner element <clears throat> let's see how it looks It looks like it's only on the <clears throat> on the front uh, of the lens. That is not so good. So let's give it a go. <clears throat> so it's not necessary to do the the inside. I mean, if the lens surface is okay, uh, <clears throat> there's no reason for doing anything. And I will just use some, I think I will just use the lighter fluid. Oh wow. <laughs> Amazing glass. So <clears throat> this is how it looks now. So much better. Just some dust. And that's it. Okay, that's one, almost one lens group. So there is a uh, retaining ring, hold the lens here in place. So take that apart. I will just use my, one of the cones, rubber cone. <clears throat> there can also be some kind of uh, thread lock. But, uh, and I think there has been some on here, but long time ago. So use this to put on here. And then <coughs> unscrew it. Easy. So that's the back retaining ring. <coughs> and then this lens should just out in my hand. So here it looks. And how does this look? <clears throat> well there are some I mean it's mostly on the back side of the lens but there are some it's just small hairs. But let's see how it looks. It will look. So to find a uh, size that fits here. And um, I just need something to hold it in a stable place. So I just use one of the other lens uh, tools, rubber tools to f hold it in place. Now, now it's ready <coughs> to have some cleaning. <coughs> I think it will be a great lens to work with. Now, I'll just try the uh, clips again and just uh, add some One can have a good wow. Okay, that was the old paint that uh, goes away. Hmm. I don't know how that can be. 
renew it. I mean, just some paint. But uh, let's see how it it will work. The light test. Oh. Yeah, it was just me who didn't. <clears throat> who didn't do it correct? Try the lighter fluid. How will it go? How will it go? I think it will be better. Yeah, here we are. I mean, that's that's really good, <clears throat> in my opinion. So I will just put it back into the to the uh, part here. I don't know <laughs> what the name is, <clears throat> but uh, so. and then tighten it so it's really easy with that tool it's amazing how good it is <clears throat> now <sighs> the way to put this lens in how to do that well one can use this uh, lens sucker which I will do to probably not uh, what do you say <laughs> touch the the surface of the of the lens just have to wipe small hairs away lens roller is really a great tool for that if one does not have a clean room <clears throat> so oh I could actually do it in a different way see there's a different way of doing that I can do like this and use not this one but the other end I guess so yeah nothing here nothing there flip it over and put it back into the mm -hmm. now <clears throat> of course there was some small hair <laughs> that gets in but uh, we can just flip it over again it's no problem pops out I mean should pop out see that there's very tight fit here so when the lens is in Hmm, what to do about that? It's not really good. Hmm. <laughs> okay, if I gently pull out the air, yeah, it pops out. Because there was some spec. I mean, uh, just a small fragment of something. Uh, and it doesn't go in a good length like this. 
so we we'll just give it another go it looks like there are some don't know if it's a hair or something <clears throat> but it's not a problem Well, small hair comes in. I think we are yeah now it's ready well that's really great and then the front lens come in there it is It's really going much, much better. <clears throat> Even the scratch here, which I cannot remove, <clears throat> since there was there before me. And then the front retaining ring goes on. And the spinner. And then the front lens will be, well, <clears throat> there are some fragments on the front, which I will just wipe away. Yeah. <clears throat> I cannot remove those, but uh, so it is. <clears throat> no one can win every time so uh, I'll just put it in the lens buddy it has to say click there much better and uh, then the back lens group <clears throat> it should be easier to do but uh, let's see how it goes I will begin with the most back element which is this one here if you hold it like this it will be the, the view you will see one lens here <coughs> a cemented lens will pop out here so all for that and uh, again the uh, lens spinner tool there is a retaining ring on the back here which I will uh, unscrew with my um, old compass which works, works perfect for this case when modified <laughs> 
again it can sit tight but uh, it doesn't look like they have used <coughs> thread lock oh maybe maybe there's been some tracks of yeah but um, so if it if the retaining ring is too tight one can use some nail polish remover to to unscrew it and there it goes here <clears throat> then flip it over and the back lens element will fall out remember the orientation the curved side is on the back which is here see the difference this is almost flat now <clears throat> I will clean the uh, outside first and then the uh, the inside after that is it better with that mm. sometimes it can be hard to find tubes pipes or something that uh, can be used for this case but let's see how it goes hmm interesting first I will I will just use the corners some lighter fluid Yeah, <clears throat> you can see there's actually some on the back, the inside of the of the back uh, lens. There's some. I don't know if it's a beginning of uh, haze or something like that. But let's see if the lighter fluid can do anything about it. <clears throat> A lens tissue and let's uh, think it will begin just to try let's see I will go with the, the Eclipse for that if we can do anything about it not really there's still something still something on it it looks like the surface or the coating is not that hard as I thought so I uh, have to be very gently now <clears throat> try with the with the uh, lighter fluid and see how it can go Wow, <laughs> what a different, what a different. It looks absolutely much, much better. So that was the, that was the thing that this lens need. <clears throat> what a different, it takes simply away the what you say <clears throat> kind of uh, thing on the surface so it's just amazing now <clears throat> then I will take out the inner I mean the yeah the cemented lens group again I will use the uh, lens tool Mm -hmm. sometimes it can be a problem 
as I discover when I was in first time in this lens with a uh, lens spinner it can sometimes be a problem but uh, let's see how it will go oh. wow sits tight <clears throat> that was amazing <clears throat> Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, it comes free. <clears throat> Can this go on? No this one maybe the other end of this one <laughs> and many possibilities is it it's a bit tight uh, this uh, retaining ring It's a bit tight, but uh, hopefully it will go. And then it's free. Now the lens just popped in my hand. It looks like this. See? So this is the other element, like look, looks like that. And it sits in that way here. Now <clears throat> we'll give this lens a go and see how it will be, especially how it looks right now. Well, a bit dusty, especially on the inside, but there are also some specks there and a lot of things on this side. Wow. Let's see how it will go. So uh, what to do, what to do. Take over. Very handy with this uh, lint roller. Maybe someone think, okay, that's not the correct way of doing it. No, maybe not, but it works for me. And I'm, I'm quite sure many other people do the exact same thing. Well, I don't know. No one have learned me how to do this. I have to learn it myself. So I will uh, just continue with this uh, Basing lighter fluid. Let's see how it will go for that. Mm -hmm. Give it another go. Sometimes it's not just doing it once. You have to do it twice or three, third time. Wow, it's actually pretty good. There's some on the edge, on the edge, 
So I will just uh, try to see if I can get that away. Amazing. Now the other side have to do. Uh, I'm able to do that. Mm. Can I use this one to pop it in? Yeah, it actually <laughs> works pretty good. To put the back lens, I mean the inner element into the back of the uh, where the back lens screw sits oh sorry <laughs> it should have been the the uh, lighter fluid not the light <laughs> great fun hmm? I think I have to do this twice. Because there was a lot of uh, of something. So let's see how it looks. There's still something something on the edge of the of the outside here. Let's see if I can do something about it. It can come away. It looks really good <clears throat> to me. So this is how it's I done it. So I can just put this lens back into the to the tube here. So and on with us that ring and as I remember it sits really tight so I don't know what click nice sound and then it should be okay to adjust it a bit more so now that's it and then the back lens will come on
then adjust to correct something like there So, and then goes back into the lens. So, and then the uh, Tighten the back lens group into place. <laughs> so, uh, there's something in there. Mm. Even if, if it's I mean, there it's much I think it's much better than it it was but of course it's not a new lens I set some thing on the back but uh, to me it's okay so then the name plate on Is the notch here? So <clears throat> it's uh, really, really much better than it was, but uh, well, it can always be perfect. But um, for now, I think it's it actually damn with those scratches over here. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> it's not a new lens, but uh, maybe yours your lens is in better condition than this one. I don't know, but uh, hope you enjoy the content and can use it. Uh, that's all for now about this lens. So, bye-bye!